Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll talk about the most commonly used flip-flop that is Master Slave JK flip-flop. Flip-flop is basically a one-bit memory cell. It means it can store one bit of data and that one bit can be zero or it can be one and that is why name is given as memory cell. You know SR flip-flop, you know normal JK flip-flop. The disadvantage of SR flip-flop is when both inputs are 1, S and R. It means when we try to set and reset simultaneously, then output is invalid and that is obvious. We can't set and reset simultaneously. Then to overcome that problem comes JK flip-flop. In case of JK flip-flop, when both outputs are 1, then next state output is complement of present state output. But the problem is of race around condition. So first I'll shortly explain you the race around condition. You can check my video for JK flip-flop, SR flip-flop, SR latch. The link is given in the description box. There I have explained race around condition in detail. But just to start, uh, just before uh, to start with MSJK, I'll explain race around condition again. So see, this is block diagram of JK flip-flop. It has J, K input, clock input, Q and Q bar outputs. This is the truth table of JK flip-flop. So here, when both inputs are zero, next state output is same as previous state output. So we, or we can call it as hold state. Then for zero one, it resets. For one zero, it sets. And for 1, 1, next state output is complement of present state output. So, according to this, see here, initially, let's assume output is 0. When positive level comes, then see, and J and K are 1. Here you can see J and K both are 1. So, what happens? Next state output is complement of present state output. My present state output is 0. So, what will happen? Next state output will become 1. But in JK flip-flop, there is a feedback from output to input side. And because of this flip, uh, because of this feedback, what happens? This changed output comes to input side and flip-flop will again complement that output. So what flip-flop will assume? Now my uh, QN is 1, so I should make it 0. And of course, this is the job of JK flip-flop. Again, after some time, this duration of positive level is much higher as compared to this change. So, again, it, it will uh, assume my input is, uh, my QN is 1. So, I'll, I should make it 0. So, it will make it 0. Again, it will make it 1. Again, it will make it 0. Again, it will make it 1. So, during positive level, output is not constant. It will keep on changing. This is called as toggle. During negative level, when no clock is present, then it will hold previous output. So, previous output is 1. So, it will hold that output. After, again, when next positive level will come, again, it will start to toggle it. Again, output will become 1, 0, 1, 0. During negative level, it will hold the previous output. When positive level will come, again, it will toggle this. So, in this way, the race around condition occurs in normal JK flip-flop. So, now you can say instead of level triggered flip-flop, we can use age triggered flip-flop and by using age triggered flip-flop, we can solve this problem absolutely correct. But when we want level triggering we must solve that problem and to solve that problem of race around condition there comes master slave j k flip flop master slave its name itself says there is a master and there is a slave so here comes master j k and slave j k there are two j k flip flops both are j k flip flops so inputs are j k clock and outputs are q and Q bar. Then what happens? Output of first flip-flop acts as input to second. And the another change is here 
क्लॉक टू सेकेंड फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज इन्वर्टेड वर्जन ऑफ क्लॉक टू फर्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप इट मीन्स वेन आर फर्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप रिसीव पॉजिटिव लेवल ऑफ क्लॉक नेक्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप विल रिसीव निगेटिव लेवल ऑफ क्लॉक वेन फर्स्ट विल रिसीव निगेटिव लेवल ऑफ क्लॉक नेक्स्ट विल रिसीव पॉजिटिव लेवल ऑफ क्लॉक सो नाउ लेट सी इंटरनल डायग्राम यूजिंग नैंड गेट्स बिफोर दैट आई फो गॉट टू कनेक्ट दिस क्यू ह्योर क्यू बार इज कनेक्टेड ह्योर Q is connected here. So feedbacks are from slave flip flop and not from master flip flop. As shown in the block diagram, output of first flip flop is connected as input to second. Then clock. is directly given to first master flip flop and here this is slave flip flop so clock is connected via not gate see so output of master is connected to input of slave the clock is connected uh, through not gate and next the feedback is from slave and here comes see this diagram is very easy if you look at it at a glance you will find it difficult but it's very easy you just need to draw two jk flip flops the clocks the inverted clock is given to slave flip flop and feedback is taken from the final output so this is my qn and this is my qn bar i can write it right here this is my output of master flip flop and this is qm bar master flip flops output now let's see how it works how it removes race around condition this is truth table of jk flip flop first three conditions will not consider because they are same as jk flip flop only the change is in last condition when both inputs are one this flip flop is designed to remove the race around condition so this is my clock input these are j and k uh, inputs initially when no clock is present outputs are zero here qm and q n output of slave or final output and this is output of master flip flop so see what happens when both inputs are one when both inputs are one then this flip flop the master flip flop will toggle the present output what is my present output zero so it will toggle this and it will make that output one but what was happening in jk flip flop because of feedback because of feedback to this uh, flip flop it it was considering next output is 1 and it was it, it tried to make it zero but here feedback is not connected from qm feedback is given from the slave but what is input to slave this is inverted clock it means now slave is receiving zero because my clock is 1 it means to my slave it is zero because inverter is placed in between master and slave's clock input so slave is not changing its output output of slave is constant and that is why what is output of slave it is zero only so feedback is zero so it will keep this output one now output will not change multiple times then when clock is zero it means it will hold the previous output so previous output was 1 so it will hold that output then when next positive level will come when next positive level will come 
what if what was the previous output it was 1 so it will make that 0 and it will be continued now here to my slave here clock is 1 it means now clock is 0 for my slave so it will not change its output output will remain same output will get changed at negative level and you need to see for this slave j and k inputs are connected to what qm and qm bar so here conditions will be these two only 0 1 or 1 0 it means if qm is 0 qm bar is 1 if qm is 1 qm bar is 0 so now condition is qm is 1 it means qm bar must be 0 so 1 0 output is 1 so here output will become 1 it will remain 1 for 1 cycle then it will become 0. So, in this way, master slave JK flip flop works. It removes the race around condition by using two separate flip flops. I hope this is useful to you. If you find this video uh, useful, please share it with your friends, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.